MP for Diego Martin Central, Simon de Nobrega, described the opening of the Diego Martin Administrative Complex building as tangible evidence and proof of government's commitment to making local government more effective, efficient, and closer to the touch of Burgesses. He said residents would usually need to visit different departments across the borough to seek support for a variety of services. It has brought all of these services into one place, not just for our Burgesses, but for our councillors, for our older men, for the staff of the regional corporation, because it means that there is one space in which people can work together, that they can collaborate, that they can, they can coordinate our different projects, and it means that the act of governance is made that, that much more simple and that much more efficient. The building boasts modern facilities such as a meeting room, proper offices for staff and accommodation for local government representatives. MP for Diego Martin Northeast, Colm Imbert, hopes to see a revolution in the quality of services offered in Diego Martin. Mr. Imbert revealed that First Citizens Bank financed the construction for the entire building, while government paid for its outfitting and parts of the infrastructure. One of the interesting things about this proposal from FCB, because we were very attracted to this proposal when it came in, it is financed without a government guarantee. So what FCB is doing, essentially they are renting the southern part of the building for a period of 20 years, and the rental payments over that 20 year period are sufficient to repay the loan. Prime Minister and MP for Diego Martin West, Dr. Keith Rowley, said the opening of the administrative complex speaks to the level of progress we've made as a society. Daily we make progress in this country. But usually, the progress is ignored in favor of the negatives. It is not to say that we don't have negatives. We have plenty of those. It is not to say that we don't have challenges. We have plenty of those. But we do have a lot of progress which we must acknowledge. The building is 30,000 square feet and will be split into two, with FCB using half of the building for one of its branches, which should be opened at the end of the month. Kimberly D'Souza. TDT News.